Hi, this is Chris Poor from Assured Information Security. And in this video, I'll be going over the installation of Fissure. If you go to the GitHub page and you scroll down a little bit, you will see some information about how to install it. You'll see that there are three branches and each one corresponds to different versions of Python, PyQt, and GNU Radio. Choose the one that, that's best for you. Uh, the operating systems that are in progress will be listed here under the category of beta. So that means certain software programs may not be uh, part of the installation yet. They may, it's just a work in progress. They'll get there. So you may see errors if you try to run certain programs. But uh, once they're fixed, they'll be moved up into this other category up here, the supported category. So if you're just getting started, what you can do is open a terminal, start copying these commands, clone it, give it a second, go into that folder, check out the branch that is meant for you. For my computer here, I'm on 18.04, so I'll use the Python 2 branch. And you can see if you're in it or not. There you go. Uh, this next command will download all the out of tree modules from the internet. It will clone each uh, specified repo. This way it saves space in the fissure repo and you get the latest code. It might break some things if they update something that I don't account for, but it's better to deal with that when that problem arises. Okay, once those are all downloaded, you can begin the installation. This computer already has it installed, but it may ask you uh, yes or no, do you want to install PyQt files just to load this, this initial GUI? You can just answer yes if you're comfortable with that and you want to continue. But uh, once you do that, this GUI will pop up, and if your operating system is one of these options, it will automatically be checked. So mine's checked as 18046. There's usually not much difference between all of them, but occasionally I see differences and the installation is slightly different. Most of the time you won't even notice. So when you go into here, you will see all these checkboxes for things that you can install. There are a lot of checkboxes. There are like hundreds of items here. There's a minimum install category. So this is the software that's required to just open Fissure and not get any errors. You're not going to be able to do much in it if you don't have the hardware uh, software installed, the out-of-tree modules. Some of the out-of-tree out modules had to be moved into that minimum install, like probably like the InfoSec one. So if you get errors, saying you can't find a block for something and it's you probably have to install this first. Uh, by default they're mostly all checked. I think for 1804 they're all checked, yeah. Some of them may not be uh, checked because uh, maybe they're works in progress and it's best not to install them. Maybe they conflict with something else that's already there. But uh, I'll try to get all of them checked. You can choose which ones you want to install. Maybe you have something already on your computer and you don't want to have any conflicts with it. It's really up to you. There aren't many checks in here to say, oh, this program's already there. Don't install it or do it this way or, or anything like that. So you can actually see what every command is going to be run on the right here. So if you have a problem with any commands, you can edit them, change them to your liking, and uh, 
I'll show you how to do that in a second. This computer already has Fissure installed, so I won't install them, but uh, this will take a long period of time, several hours, to go through all these things. Most of the hangups are going to be in the, the cellular software for things like OpenBTS and SR, uh, SRS RAN. I'll start to categorize these things going forth in the future so you can kind of choose which ones you may be interested in and maybe you don't know what they are and uh, the categories will help you. But it doesn't hurt to install everything if you can do it. Um, yeah, so this is useful for staging computers if you're just starting out. Uh, if you already have software installed, you may have problems. Some of the bigger things that might have problems are GNU Radio, depending on how you have it set up, especially with all these auto tree modules. So that's why it's kind of best to, to start fresh. So what you're going to see when you start installing stuff, let's just install these things. You may ask you for your password in your terminal. And as it installs things, it will turn them in different colors. It'll run the command up here first, and then it will run this verify command afterwards. And if it installed properly, if there are no errors that occur when you do this verify command, it will turn green. If there are errors, it'll turn red. And if there's no verify section at all, it'll stay black. That is what this GUI does. So if you want to modify it to do your own thing, there are two files in uh, that fissure folder uh, that relate to the install installation. Uh, the first one just checks for your operating system and tries to install PyQt files. It's different for each branch, but uh, there's not much going on here. It's just PyQt. Uh, the second file is where all the commands are. So each branch has their own version of this file. And in it, you can define categories just right here in the beginning here. And each set of commands are just uh, listed underneath these headers. So you'll see exactly what you saw in that GUI. And the structure of each checkbox looks kind of like this. You'll have the name of the checkbox. You'll have the commands to run. You'll have that verify section. You can just copy and paste it. It's, it's got to be exact because it looks for this string. So make sure you copy that right. And then if you want it to be checked by default or not, and then if you want it under a category, you can list that. If you don't want it under a category, you just leave it blank, like down here, or you can put none. That's what they do. And that's it. You can tweak what's already here. You can add your own checkboxes, and you're off and running. So once you install all those programs, all you have to do is open a terminal, type fissure. You may have to open a new terminal if uh, bash didn't resource itself. So like if you install the fissure command, uh, you, you can just uh, source bash RC and it'll come. You should be able to get it back or just open a new terminal. So type fissure. And it will launch the dashboard. And uh, that's it. That's all you have to do.